Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. My name is Alex, and this is Budget Me Alex. I am a 29-year-old all-cash budgeter. I am on a journey to be completely debt-free, as well as I do have some pretty big savings goals. So if you're interested in this kind of content, just go ahead and continue watching. Sorry if my voice is a little, like, off today. Um, I have been fighting a sore throat because my allergies have been so crazy lately and because of that i also have a sinus headache this morning so um it's starting off a little rough but we will get through it uh my family and i went to disneyland yesterday and i am so beat today um but we actually had a really really good time despite how cold it was it was still a lot of fun um, but anyway, today we are going to get into this magic month cash stuffing. I am only doing a total of 565 because I had set aside 340 for my discover card, but because that is already going to be drafted, I actually just ended up leaving that in my account as well as I ended up depositing what was in my discover envelope. So I'm just going to go ahead and give this a quick count. We have one, $200. 250, 300, 320, 340, 360, 380, 400, 420, 440, 460, 480, 500, 510, 20, 30, whoops, 10, 20, 30, 40, put that on the front. 545, 550, 555, 560, 5, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. Alrighty, so 565. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, for my unstuffing for my wallet, I have like almost no money in there left over, but that's totally fine. I ended up having like just a really good week with, I don't know, I feel like I spent a lot with my family this week, like my sisters, and um, we ended up going to the beach last week. Um, and well, the plan was to go to, I do have a lot of coins though. The plan was to go to the beach, but my sister and I drove separately and we ended up driving over there kind of for nothing because by the time we got there, uh, my parents and my little sisters went to the dog beach. By the time we got there, it was so windy, so cold. So we were like, oh, let's just go home. It's fine. We all ended up going to my parents' house afterwards. Um, let's see, gas, nothing. Groceries, nothing. Um, nothing in eating out. Personal, I want to say, does <laughs> actually have its 25. And so does miscellaneous, I believe. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So at least we have $30, which is still... $30 that we get to put towards my savings challenges. So I'm still happy with that. And let me go ahead and start stuffing these. So gas gets its usual $50. So does groceries. Eating out gets 50 as well. Personal gets 25. And miscellaneous gets $5. Alrighty, so that is all for my wallet. And then I only have two bills that I need to stuff into my bill binder. So only because the way that on magic months, I don't ever stuff my bills, but the way that these ended up landing since I split my bills into four to make it easier on me, um, the way that these ended up landing, I still have to put money in them this week. So life insurance gets fifty dollars. So we have fifty, one hundred, one fifty. And you'll notice there's nothing in the other ones because they've already been deposited because they are all coming out this week. Um, and then my phone bill gets forty-one. 
and it is trash day if you hear that noise outside. Okay, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 161, 2, 3, 4, 164. Okay, and that is all for my bills. I'm not putting anything else in there. And then for my debt binder, you guys, I'm so happy to say that this month I put $858 towards Discover and this is officially, officially paid off with a zero balance. So I'm so happy about that. So we will be moving on to Quicksilver as our next card, which I won't be stuffing today because the majority of my money went towards Discover, so this will be for next time, but I'm so happy about that. The only thing that I will be stuffing in this binder today is actually going to be my 50 envelope challenge, which is also my credit card challenge that I made. Let's see. Wow, it's like super chaotic outside if you guys can hear all of that. Okay, I had to wait for the car alarm to go like, off and then the trash the trash guy to just go somewhere else. It was way too crazy. Um, and I also found my highlighter for now. So my 50 envelope challenge today gets $27. And as always, if you are new to my channel, what I've been doing is at the end of every single row, I put that... Um, like that whole row towards the next credit card in line so the numbers are obviously getting bigger which is i'm totally okay with because our credit cards are getting bigger now that we're paying off like we've already paid off all the small ones well most of them um and now we're moving on to the bigger ones so at the end of april which is when this will be done most likely, or in the middle of April, I'll be able to put this towards that, which will equal to $140. So it's $140 that I will put towards that. So we have 20, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53. So that is all for this binder and then next I'm going to be jumping into this one um, I recently did go back to like um, Working out in like a different kind of like boot camp. We call it something else, but it's technically boot camp It's like hit workouts and stuff and not necessarily always hit um, but that's where I got the best results when I lost weight the first time around and I have so much fun with it. I love lifting weights. I love fast movements. I just, and I need an environment where like somebody is pushing me to do it. Um, it's hard for me to work out on my own sometimes. So I'm putting this towards that. Um, it's not the full payment, but I will be putting it next week. Um, so we have 50, 60, 65, 66, 67, and I'm just going to put that towards health. And then I'm going into my savings challenges, which again, isn't much, but hey, anything counts. So we have two fives. And then we have 120. Which for this one, I'm actually super excited because two, four, six, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, two, four, six. Yeah, we're at 600 for this one already. 800, 1,000, yeah. Our goal is 1,000. We have $600 towards my 20s already. And then we have 120 in my 10s, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 140 towards my fives. I don't even know the ones, but all of this is going towards my Hawaii, whoops, towards my Hawaii trip because this year we are going for two weeks in August for my 30th birthday. Um, and then as well as that, my boyfriend, my little sisters and I just recently decided that we are going to go hiking this year. Um, we already got our campsite and everything. I believe we're going in 
we're going at the end of June. So that's actually really exciting. And we just need to, like we got the majority of our big things last time. So this time we only need to get like um, food, which food actually ends up costing a lot, but food. Um, and I think we need to get a tent, I'm not sure, but we'll figure it out. And so I, the reason I said that was because for my savings challenge, it was all supposed to go towards Hawaii, but my parents, I'm so grateful. They said that for my birthday, they're actually paying a good portion of it. So I'll most likely have extra money with me. Um, and so I'll be able to use some of that for my camping trip as well. So maid of honor, I am putting $200 towards that today. Uh, this month I am going to be fully focused on uh, just that party because it is at the end of April. So um, we will be working, I can't get this straight. We will be working on that this month. Um, and then if I have anything extra that I need to put towards this envelope, then I will be stuffing it for sure this month. Um, but also my sister's birthday is on the third and we are going to the mountains for just a few days. Um, I need to get her a gift and then I believe we're going to go snowboarding while we're out there. Uh, so I'm very excited. It's going to be, April's going to be a fun month. Um, actually the whole rest of this year, because I feel like our trips now are going to be a little bit further apart. So it's not too much to stress about. Like the beginning of the year was back to back to back parties. Um, but now, so the beginning of April is going to be my sister's, um, birthday trip and then, which is only for a few days. So it's not even going to be a lot. The end of May, my sister, so the end of April is going to be the bridal shower. The end of May is going to be my sister's baby's going to be born. Then the end of June, we're going camping. Nothing is happening in July and the middle of August, we're going to Hawaii. So it's going to be a busy year, but everything is a little bit more spread out now. So I feel like I can actually breathe a little bit. And now that I am paying off my debt, like I'm seeing really, really, really fast and good results. It's less for me to stress about because I am paying that off sooner already. So I know that, you know, I'll be able to actually put cash towards these trips instead of stressing like, well, I have a thousand dollar balance and my trip is going to be however much money then I'm only putting like $20 towards my debt. Like, no, I know that the majority, I already prioritized my debt and then I'll be focused on my savings uh, as far as like trips go. So sorry for my little rant. <laughs> that's going to be all for today's video thank you guys so much if you stick around all the way to the end i really appreciate you guys and i will see you all on tuesday bye